A whistleblowing system for the public to rat on errant nightlife outlets flouting COVID-19 rules will be ready next Monday. It's part of immediate measures in a so-called three-ring approach the Singapore Nightlife Business Association has come up with to rebuild the sector. It's also proposing stiffer penalties and a review of hotspots amid a COVID-19 cluster linked to several KTV lounges. I must say that um, it took us by surprise you know, what actually happened uh, with the KTV clusters. So, so it was really up to us to try to identify the problems and understand what the issues are and to explain um, the situation on the ground. So the way nightlife is um, going to be operated will change, but it will come back. And I believe that we will have to start understanding how that can be done. The proposed second ring will help the 400 outlets which pivoted to FMB businesses stay the course in the medium term. It could mean financial support to put in place more controls like CCTV cameras. Businesses might be also subject to audits, take a statutory de declaration and come under the supervision of the police. The final ring is about long-term plans that include pushing for more nightlife pilots to restart business and a framework for licenses for hostesses, among others.